urban and financial deprivation. What are they and why are they happening across England and Great Yarmouth? Urban deprivation is the deterioration of a city or town sometimes caused by a lack of investment or maintenance. There are a wide variety of reasons as to why a person could be dealing with deprivation. My perception about deprivation is certainly for Great Yarmouth is that although we have some real challenges in terms of the amount of money people have got locally, that actually, although maybe cash terms, the, the town does struggle a bit sometimes, but actually it's really wealthy in terms of an amazing group of people that live in and around Great Yarmouth who've got fantastic skills. So I guess it, it, it depends on how you're defining deprivation in my view. Um, if it's about people, then I would disagree and say we're not a deprived area. But if it's about cash, I think people are on a lower income here, yes. Across England and Wales, it was estimated that 16.4 million residents, 16 and over, indicated that their highest qualification was at level four or above, with the second most common category having 8.8 .8 million residents, 16 and over, were estimated to have no qualifications. I think one of the issues for deprivation in our area is the fact that we are on one of the most easterly points in the country. I think that means we don't get as many people passing through Great Yarmouth and I think that does affect uh, maybe the inspiration or the aspirations for young people to go beyond um, our fantastic town. Lots of people come here on holiday but when they come here on holiday they're just coming to visit the town. Um, and as I said before, they don't pass through, which means that we can seem a bit cut off at times. In fact, I always joke at conferences and other events that our nearest motorway is in Holland. And actually, if you look at the geography of the country, we are quite, quite far away from other people. And I think that means it affects our ability to attract people to come here, but also um, gets us to maybe not have as many ideas as other areas where new people are visiting all the time. I think it does affect young people more being um, so easily because um, if you live, for example, on the south coast, you're nearer to airports, you're nearer to going to the rest of Europe. For us, even getting to London um, can be sort of between two and three hours. So getting to bigger cities is, is quite a challenge. I also think uh, it affects us because in the whole of Norfolk, there are the same number of people as those just living in Southampton on the south coast, so something like one and a half million people. So we're all quite spread out. We're all, um, you know, we're in a rural location. Transport isn't always as brilliant as it should be, and I think that makes it difficult for young people to do things. Um, well, to travel around the county, it makes it difficult for us to um, get to know other people around. So I think I think that does affect young people in Great Yarmouth. Yes. Financial deprivation can mean a variety of things. Sometimes it can just be a lack of funds or a condition in which individuals or households struggle to meet their basic needs. It was forecasted that in January 2023, the low income will increase from 17.2% in 2021-2022 to 18.3% in the next year or so. This could potentially mean an additional 800,000 people will be on low income. I think here it's really interesting about urban decline because we have got some amazing um, features in the town. So, for example, the marketplace is being renovated at the moment, the Palmer's building is being converted into uh, a, a library and university centre. And these buildings are really amazing. Uh, and I think it does affect how proud people are of, of our town. If you go back to medieval times, or if you go back to when Charles Dickens was alive, um, there's a really famous quote that says that there was nowhere um, more fine than Great Yarmouth, or, or Great Yarmouth is the most fine place. And I think anything where the town is not looking as um, sophisticated or as well kept as, as it should be, can make people feel a bit low in terms of their mood. But actually, Great Yarmouth, if you look around it and you see all the historical features, it's a really amazing town. So um, trying to reverse that and invest in areas can really, really lift everyone. So there's some brilliant examples, for example, the waterways. 
which is fantastic uh, location and that was really not looked after and now tourists come from all over and people in the town can get to walk in those areas so I think that's the impact of urban decline is really around if you're not proud of the buildings if they're not looking beautiful if there's rubbish or um, dirt around that does make you feel low whereas when they're looked after and everything's looking fantastic then, then that's great. I know the town has got plans to put more trees um, in the centre, um, in, well in the centre near the marketplace, um, we're doing things with the winter gardens as well so I think there's a real change for Great Yarmouth coming and it's just a case of hopefully for young people that they feel that that's relevant for them. Within Great Yarmouth, Nelson is the ward with the highest unemployment rate at 11.2%. In relation to this, only 42.5% of households in Great Yarmouth are working households, meaning that all adults in the household have jobs. Great Yarmouth is one of the 20% most deprived districts in England. Some of the poorest neighbourhoods are actually found in Great Yarmouth, with it being home to the three poorest neighbourhoods. Middlegate in Great Yarmouth has the lowest income in Norfolk and is among the 75 poorest places in England. Great Yarmouth, on the other hand, has a lower life expectancy than the average in England. Although nothing is being done about these issues now, people are hoping that they start to get the investment needed and the funds required to make the area a better place. This would in turn give people a chance to get out of the low income category and build better lives for them and the people around them.